the world famous Jiggy Jaguar radio broadcast. We are live coast to coast on 250 radio stations across the country and around the world. AM FM 247.com. Our good friends over there at 990 WBOB out there in Rhode Island of all places. And of course, our good friends at KFRK in Denver. Live videos available on Twitch, Periscope, and Facebook. And of course, on demand, archived audio available via iHeartRadio. You can find us on the TuneIn apps or you can find us 24 7 at J I G G Y J G U A R dot com. 2 Central, 3 Eastern, 12 Pacific, and 1 p.m. Mountain Standard. And, of course, live as live can get from the KJAG Radio Studios in downtown Hedges of Kansas. Find our daily videos uploaded on YouTube, cross-posted to Rumble. And, of course, you can find us on the Roku via the AMFM 24-7 network each and every week. And the Jiggy Jaguar Radio broadcast is brought to you by our fabulous, fabulous friends over there at EarthlyGoodNaturals.com. That's right. They are amazing. It is earthlygoodnaturals.com. They have some incredible things going over there on their website, and $5 donated from each kid will go to Alex's Lemonade Stand for Childhood Cancer. And, of course, uh, you can support these good folks over there at earthlygoodnaturals.com. Com. Get kids off the screens and get them into a creative, do-it-yourself hobby this holiday season. And we have got a great guest joining us today here on our big broadcast, the fantastic Parsha M. Green. And you can get more information at the website. I'll spell it for you. It's T-A-R-S-H-A-M-G-R-E-E-N dot net. And uh, she has got an incredibly good book. She joins us today here on our big broadcast. So, uh, Ms. Green, talk to us a little bit about your latest book here, my friend. So, Hopefully Redeemed is a, a personal testimony about my life from when I experienced trauma as a little girl and how it spiraled into some self-destructive behaviors and just all the way into my adult life, something that I continue to struggle with until I found the love of Jesus. Like I kept falling into sexual sin, drugs, everything of that nature until I was reached down and saved by God. That is awesome. That is fantastic. So this book, yeah. uh, one of the things that I love about your marketing is that you are, uh, you're putting all sorts of different things together. The book cover is amazing. The website's amazing. You also have a book trailer. And we are going to take yeah. a brief uh, brief second here. We're going to uh, see and hear this book trailer. And then we are going to come back and keep chatting with Tarsha M. Green here on our big broadcast. On to the main event. Anytime you're dealing with this unresolved trauma, these things can happen. Like throughout my life, I just kept falling and kept falling for the same thing. Yeah, I was out there wilding out, but I didn't have the self-perception that a lot of young girls need. I know who God says I am now. I would say for anyone that feel like they have a past that's just too ugly to approach God, Who you like have in your circle is very crucial. If you don't have those praying warriors in your circle, you in a dangerous spot. So, Tarsha, this uh, this book is absolutely incredible. Talk to me a little bit about your writing process. So, I actually started the book back in 2016 when God just abruptly had me quit my job, and I didn't understand why. But once I quit my job, I started um, just writing, and he just wanted me to write down my life story. I didn't know that it was going to get to this point right here. 
So um, that was in 2016. Then I put it down. Fast forward to 2021, when I moved to Africa is when I actually finished it, when I answered um, some re more recent things that I had recently went through. So it took some time, but it all came together at the perfect time. That is awesome. We have got a great yeah. guest with us today. Tarsha M. Green is with us. Constantly Redefined is the latest from her, and she joins us today here on Redeemed. our broadcast. Constantly Redeemed. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, so so the book is incredibly well written. You put a lot of time and effort into the book. Mm -hmm. What do you want readers to take away from your writing? The main thing that I want readers to take away is your past does not have to define who you are today. No matter what you've done, no, many, no matter how many times you fell into the same sin, like God still loves you. God still has a plan for you in order to help others. So um, I encourage everyone to not give up and establish that relationship with God, Jesus, and his Holy Spirit. We've got a great guest with us today. She joins us live here on our big broadcast. And uh, Tarsha M. Green is with us. Uh, just an amazing, amazing book. How, how do people get the book, my friend? So they can go to my website, which is TarshaMGreen.net, the same one that you mentioned earlier. And it's also on Amazon. If they order on my site, they'll receive a signed copy. That's fantastic. So, so are there any specific, specific. Uh, you know, characters or experiences or anything that you mention in the book that uh, you have a very strong connection to? Majority of the book is about myself. Yeah, there are some characters as far as like relate failed relationships because again, I kept falling into um, sexual sin. So there are some characters, but they're like real people that I speak about, but it's not to shame anyone or bring any um, judgment upon anyone. It's really all about myself and how I overcame those trials and those struggles. That is awesome. We have got mm -hmm. a great guest with us today. Tarsha M. Green is with us today. And uh, Constantly Redeemed is the incredible, incredible new book. And um, so, so can you share with us some of the challenges that you faced while writing this incredible book and how you overcame them? Oh, oh a big challenge that um, I went through was self-reflecting. I didn't realize I had so much unhealed trauma. So while writing, again, I'm just, you know, freestyling writing. And it became a lot of parts of it was very hurtful. Like I was reliving that trauma, but God had to make me realize that that's actually where my healing come from, like accepting those emotions and processing those emotions. So as they came up, I, even if I had to just sit there for a moment and cry, that's what I did. That's how I overcame. That's awesome. Yeah. Tarsha M. Green with us today. She joins us live here on our big broadcast. So how would you describe your particular writing style for this book? I'd say very open, um, like very transparent. I leave nothing unturned. Like I tell you my good, my bad, the ugly, the nasty, you know, it's very relatable because so many people struggle with so many of the same things. And in this world, everyone wants to cover up the things that they have done. And I was once one as well, but it's just very open, like no stone unturned. Tarsha M. Green with us today. Constantly Redeemed is the latest from her, and she joins us today here on our big broadcast. So what advice do you have for aspiring authors, especially those that are working on their first book? They do not give up, especially if it's something personal. Um, it may be hard to just sit there and reflect on yourself, but just keep going as well as don't rush the process. Um, 
be very cautious about who you let into your brand. Like for me, I prayed about who was going to do my cover, prayed about who was going to do my editing, prayed about like everything because you want people of the same spirit that's, you know, on your project. So just take your time and receive wise guidance as you go. That is awesome. That is fantastic. So what has been the reviews like that you've gotten on the book so far? The reviews have been amazing. Uh, There has been a lot of healing people like, Oh, I went through the same thing too. And it's, opening up discussions, especially for women. It's like, I never told anyone that I went through this. And now that the book is out and it's even on the cover, like I was molested as a young girl. And as women, we are told to remain silent about everything. But this book has opened up discussions that's saying, I, I, I went, through that as a, went through that as a little girl. And, you know, another review that I actually love is people that say, I don't even read, but I couldn't put the book down. So the reviews have been amazing. And again, very healing in so many ways. That is awesome. So talk to me a little bit about your marketing, what what, what you've been doing to get this book out there. So um, I have the Vine Jams Gospel Network um, in my corner that has been amazing because I didn't know exactly how to market. Like I had the videos and the vision, but I needed help to put it out there. So the Vine Jams came along and put their touch to it, gave their advice and have been with me. And I'm, I'm very grateful for them. That is awesome. So what is next for you as a writer? Right now, I'm just basking in the moment. And again, just taking my time. I know a lot of people are requesting, um, that is another review, requesting a part two, a sequel to, and knowing like more ways of, wait, not more ways, but more about what I went through and how I'm doing now. So it may be a little something in the works to come. That is awesome. Well, the book is amazing. Thanks for making some time for us today. Before we let you go, how do we get in touch with you online, buy your book, everything? So, um, again, you can go to TarshaMGreen.net to order a signed copy, or you can go to Amazon.com to order. I am on Facebook, which is Tarsha M. Green, and I just recently um, opened up an Instagram which is also like that is Tasha dot M green. So everything is Tasha M green. Fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. Tasha M green with us today. She joins us live here on a big broadcast and uh, thanks for making some time mm-hmm. for us today. Thanks for being on the big Thank broadcast you. with us. Yes. Thank you for having me.